Hello friends, welcome to Coding Fixer. Today in this tutorial, we will be creating a dynamic PDF and also sending this with uh, email as attachment. So this is an extension of the previous tutorial I have created on this topic that how to create dynamic PDF using MPDF. So the link of this video is there in the video description. So first of all watch that video and then come back to this video. So we will be extending that application. So this is the application you can see that I can fill out the details and write some random message and if I click the send button it will actually send a message to the you can see that as I drag down you can see that the message has been sent so for the client side for the message side I am using mail trap mail trap is a client where you can send and receive messages so you can see that a few seconds ago a message has been received if I open this message you can see that the message is there also the attachment is also present this is a PDF attachment if I click this attachment uh, you will see that the PDF file will be there so if I click this this is the attachment all the details will be printed out in this PDF file that is for them that all the details that I filled it in the PDF form. So in this way you can just send PDF files as, it, as attachment using the, in PHP. So for this specific purpose I am using PHP mailer library for sending out the messages. So let me just go to the Visual Studio Code text editor. So in the previous video we have built it by creating dynamic PDF using MPDF. So the whole source code was there in the previous video so this was the previous video so we need to make some kind of changes here so first of all let me just delete all the code here and start from scratch let me just delete this and also delete this function in the previous tutorial we were creating dynamic PDF if I uncomment this line this was the previous video so if I save this and once again I fill out the form here so if I click the button here it will generate the PDF for me with all the details printing out so this is the create dynamic PDF tutorial so now in this one we need to add the email functionality also we need to send out the emails also to mail trap for that specific purpose first of all we need to comment this line and secondly we need to use a mpdf function so again this output function this time we will not name our file comma we will be saving it in a variable S is we are writing, we are storing it in a variable. So let me just declare a variable of PDF. So it, the message will be the PDF, the created PDF will be stored in this variable that is PDF. And after that, we need to create the custom function where we will be. Uh, the function name will be send email. First argument will be the the only argument it will receive is the PDF file which we want to send out. So after creating this function, so just go to Google. After that, type here PHP mailer. So this is the library that we are using for sending out the emails so just click this so this is the php mailer library for installing this library you will need a program called as composer so just install composer it is a program for installing php dependencies after successfully installing composer just find this command that is this command in your command prompt in your active directory so just paste it here I have already downloaded it so if you download it this message will be printed out and a separate vendor folder will be present with the dependencies so let me just show you exam 
this is the vendor folder will be generated and in that all the dependencies will be there so you can see that php mailer in order to include this dependency we just have to copy paste these lines here just copy these lines so paste it at the very top of the script so just paste it by the way all the source code of this application is given in my blog post which is there in the video description this is the blog post that i have created all the step by step instruction is there alongside with the code also so just copy it from the blog post so after including this php mailer library we need to create the, this custom function and uh, just go to the documentation once more you will see a example in order to send email so just copy all this code here copy it and paste it in our custom function so you can see that so now as i'm using mail trap mail trap is a free service for sending and receiving the messages so just create a free account there and uh, there you will be uh, in order to get the smt settings so after that let me just click here mail trap so this is the smt settings that you need to copy paste so the host is smtp mail trap dot io let me move on to and replace this values The username password is also there so just this is the username copy it and paste it here and similarly the password also is there the port number you can use 587 but i will use 2525 So that's it for now. So these are the settings that you need to make. You can just delete this add CC and reply to. We don't need this. And also we can delete one address. And you can just edit this from where you are sending this. Let's suppose I am sending it from test at the rate email.com. And you need to delete this attachment here. We need to pass the PDF attachment. So this is very simple. You can use a function that is mail add string attachment. This is a function you have to send the PDF as the attachment. So in the parentheses, first of all, you will specify the your PDF that I passed here, PDF, and the name of the attachment. Suppose I name it as attachment.pdf, that's it, semicolon. So this is all the code that is required guys. So now let me just call this function once it's ready. So let me just send email, pass the PDF that I need to pass as the attachment. So that's it guys. So now if I save this file and First of all, let me just comment this line output. Yes, it was commented. So now if I move on to the application and refresh this and fill out the details. Hello, this is a sample message. And actually send this. So it is printing on that call to undefined function. So let me just see what is happening there. So we need to have this curly brackets here. That is why it was making an error. PDF. Send email.
So now if I send this message, you can see that the message has been sent successfully. So this is the response which has come. You can see that the message has been sent. Now if I check the inbox, you can see that the message has been received. If I click the message, this is the message body alongside with the attachment that is there. If I click the attachment, you can see that this is a PDF file. Alongside, this contains all the details that I've entered in the HTML form. So, in this way, you, you can send PDF attachments in using PHP Mailer in PHP.